Welcome to the world of immersive learning. This video walks you through creating a simple scenario. We'll build the scenario starting from scratch and add two simple scenes. The scenes will contain hotspots that link to each other. Let's get started. As with any project, before beginning you should have a basic structure and flow of the scenario in mind and then gather the required assets for the scenario. We'll need our 360-degree equirectangular files that will be used as the scenes along with any regular images, audio, and video that we want to include in the scenes. For this tutorial, we will be creating the scenario from scratch. Begin by clicking the Add button, and let's add our first equirectangular scene. The equirectangular media file provides the spherical panoramic background for the scene. Drop the equirectangular file, which can be either an image or a video, onto the dialog box to get started. Next, add an optional short description, and to help our users find the scenario, let's select a category. For example, let's select Education. Select Create Scenario. Once we select Create Scenario, the Scenario Editor opens. On the left, our scene is added to the scene list. It shows a thumbnail of the scene, along with the scene name. Notice that we can edit the settings we just specified, or delete the scene if necessary. On the right, our equirectangular file is loaded onto the canvas. Notice how we can scroll in each direction on the canvas using the cursor or dragging the mouse. Next, let's add our second scene to the scenario. This time, let's add our scene by dragging it onto the interface. Now that we have the two scenes in our scenario, let's connect them with hotspots. Select the first scene, and let's add our hotspot. Next, select Add Hotspot in the drop-down menu. Use the Hotspot dialog box to configure the hotspot. Change the name of the hotspot if necessary. The name is used to reference this hotspot throughout the scenario. Now let's grab the resource file for the hotspot. And select the actions for the hotspot. Notice the actions that can be configured for the hotspot. For our tutorial, select Link. Select the second scene for the scene link. Our action to link to the second scene is done. Select Back to Properties. Select Done. The hotspot is added to the first scene and placed on the canvas. We can move the hotspot on the canvas by grabbing it and moving our cursor or dragging the mouse. Next, let's add a hotspot to the second scene and select the actions for the hotspot and link it to the first scene. The second hotspot is added to the second scene and placed on the canvas. Move it as necessary. Our scene is ready to preview. To do so, switch to preview mode and use the hotspots to link between the two scenes. Our simple scenario is done, and what comes next for your learners is up to you. Scenario VR. Tomorrow's content authoring today.